Hello everyone, this is Robert from Book of Mormon Editions, where we discuss printings, publications, and various editions of the Book of Mormon. This next video regarding a variant of the Book of Mormon has much to do with Utah church history as it does with a specific edition, so bear with me as I think this is going to be a fun video. While homesteading in the new Wild West of Utah, the leaders of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, led by Brigham Young, had the responsibility of assisting the saints both on a spiritual level and on a physical level, as the members settled into new and undeveloped land. Periodically, new sets of pioneer groups would come west, and it was the church leadership's responsibility to encourage settlement farther and farther from central Salt Lake. They also had to deal with international immigrants coming in who also spoke various European languages. In order to assist in the means of uniformity among the saints, a committee proposed a new lettering system to help the American saints and immigrants to read and communicate better. So, in the 1850s, the church produced the Deseret Alphabet. This was phonetically English, but the text font was new and different. Among the characters were consonants that matched the sounds. However, there were added characters to distinguish between vowel sounds, between those like eight, art, and ought. A total of 38 characters made up this desert alphabet, and it was heavily promoted in the 1850s and 1860s in Utah. In 1868, two reader books were published to assist in learning lessons. These included phrases, poems, and stories, and became more and more complex as the lessons progressed. These readers are a collector's item for the Deseret Alphabet font and decorative illustrations. In 1869, the Church published a full Book of Mormon in Deseret Alphabet. However, the printing quantity was only 500. It has become a rare book and a collector's item. The price ranges up to several thousand dollars. A more common printing was the Book of Mormon excerpt, written in Desert Alphabet, consisting specifically of 1st Nephi through the words of Mormon. However, the Desert Alphabet didn't take hold in the American Wild West as expected. It eventually faded out in the 1870s. It was hard to find typeset for a specific font, and the Transcontinental Railroad brought non-Mormon travelers that didn't take to the unusual printed language. In addition, there were printed material in English from the East Coast that became easier and easier to supply as travelers came west. Another challenge was that the Desert Alphabet didn't have a schwa. This is a soft a uh sound, like the words in about or enough. Even the a uh sound in Deseret was transposed for an e, as in eat. It almost sounds like a nasally Deseret instead of a soft form. I'm not a linguist, but the vowel specifications in the Desert Alphabet almost show an unintended accent for those living in early Utah. It's definitely the case with the current Rocky Mountain accent. There, I said it. I even have it. When I say mountain instead of mountain and fountain instead of fountain. On a humorous side, there is a distinct accent for those living in southern Utah. Instead of St. George, it's actually St. George. I even have relatives living in Hurricane, Utah, and the locals will quietly smirk at the tourists, pronouncing it as hurricane. So the Deseret Reader Book of Mormon has it too, as there are two O's in Mormon and are different phonetic symbols. The first is an A ah sound as an ought, and the second is an U uh sound as an ut. So I guess the Deseret Alphabet pronounces it as Marmon. I know I'm being silly, and in light of this, I'm not critical of the early church leaders, as I think that they did their best attempting to organize a growing territory as best as they could. Either way, this 1869 Book of Mormon excerpt, printed in Deseret Alphabet, is a great piece of early Utah history. I also think it's interesting that these covers have a picture of a completed Salt Lake Temple when it was still in construction at the time and wouldn't be completed until the 1890s. Periodically, I see these readers and Book of Mormon excerpt books on online auction houses, but they are rare and pretty pricey. 
On a positive note, in today's modern world, the Desert Alphabet has been recognized as a special font and has been standardized in Unicode. This has created a new set of printings, including a replica reprint that can be found as a print on demand. There are currently fans and followers of this old Desert Alphabet, which include Facebook pages and websites. I've even seen a bumper sticker that says, Honk, if you can read this. Thanks everyone for sharing some Utah history with me as we review this unique Book of Mormon edition. I'll post links down below regarding the Book of Mormon text in PDF and a link to the 1869 Book of Mormon as recorded at archives.org. If you have a special or unique edition of the Book of Mormon that you'd like reviewed in this series, please contact me at bomeditions at gmail.com. Best wishes until next time.